algae is a category, and then the two main ones that most people know about are spirulina and chlorella. So what are they? Well, spirulina, as I mentioned, is a blue-green algae. The main thing people know spirulina for is its energy, which is why we call ours energy biz. How does it give you energy? Well, first of all, spirulina, as I mentioned earlier, is a bacteria. It does not have a cellular wall. Why is that important? Because that means there's nothing for your body to have to break down to get access to the rich nutrition that's in there. So that's number one, very rapid absorption. Bioavailability is key. It's not just what you eat, it's what you absorb. Number two, spirulina has the highest concentration of protein in the world. Uh, and, and it has 18 of the 20 amino's, including the nine that your body can't make. So it's a complete protein. Why? And, and the protein and the amino's are individual. Most animal protein is all bound up and can take days for your body to break down. Uh, collagen is what's called peptides, which are clusters of amino's. But algae, the amino's are individual. Again, why is that important? Because it allows your body to access all those rich amino's instantly. And then because spirulina is loaded with B vitamins that convert the amino's into energy, this is what gives you energy in the moment. It's also a vasodilator, which opens up your blood vessels and brings more oxygen and nutrition to your body. It also has very high iron, which brings more oxygen to your unit. But it's mostly the rich amino's, zero um, uh, effort for your body to break down, so you actually get energy back from not having to work at digestion. And then the access to the Bs and the amino's. We talked about the mitochondria at the very beginning. So there are nutrients in the blue in the blue-green algae that speed up the production of ATP. And we can dive into that a little bit later because it's a bit geeky. But so you get long-term energy from the mitochondria protection, and you get instant energy from the immediacy of the digestion of the amino of the uh, amino acids from the B vitamins. And that's quite different from chlorella. But when it comes to algae, it is a complete protein. It has, as I said, the 18 of the 20 aminos. In fact, it has more um, collagen and more aminos than even collagen powder. The fact that it's a complete protein, number one. The fact that it's 90%, 99% bioavailable, number two. And in fact, if you chew it, it gets into your bloodstream almost instantly. Uh, maybe about 10 minutes if you swallow it because it just takes a while to get into your system. So it absolutely it, uh, has all the nutrients. And glutathione is another one of those um, nutrients that can get into the uh, mitochondria to stop the free radical damage. And um, glutathione is also hard to find in food, in any kind of quantity that offers medicinal benefits. So glutathione is very detoxing, which helps your cells to function properly and it also can get into that inner membrane to stop free radical damage so um, and once again your body makes glutathione for you from the moment you're born and then it stops or slows down after the age of 30 and so once again just with like with the superoxidigitase you stop having that uh, antioxidant protection that you had uh, in your early years and again this is why I feel that this is to me the reason why people are getting it disease it's, it's a combination of not getting proper nutrition from other foods having too many toxins in their body which we'll address when we talk about chlorella but also not having the mitochondrial protection from antioxidants that they used to have made for them you know for free and there are no other sources that are as concentrated of glutathione or, or uh, superoxidase as algae. Um, the other nutrients you, you wanted me to, I think I'd like to mention are chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is also a nutrient that can get into the inner membrane of the mitochondria to stop free radical damage. And I'm gonna give you one other little fun thing about chlorophyll. Um, studies have shown that when you take uh, chlorophyll and you are exposed to red light, could either be red light therapy or sunlight, that um, that chlorophyll uh, gets into the uh, CoQ10 molecule, which is what's called a transport molecule in the uh, that geeky electron transport chain. Anyways, it, it recycles the CoQ10 molecule and generates ATP for you without food. Pretty amazing, right? And, and chlorophyll is a fat-based pigment. So uh, again, we talked earlier about the cells having a membrane that's made of fats, and that's why you need vitamin E and vitamin A and vitamin D, and omega-3 to keep your cell membranes healthy because healthy membranes allow nutrients in and toxins out. Well, chlorophyll, because it's a fat-based pigment, does the same thing. So when your cell membrane is healthy, it allows nutrients to get into the mitochondria, and then at the same time, you get the double hit that the, the chlorophyll protects the mitochondria from free radical damage. So it's a win-win. 